Just one day out from the California recall election, President Biden is pushing to help Governor Gavin Newsom keep his job. The president is joining Governor Newsom on a campaign stop in Long Beach. He's urging Californians to vote no. It's been a year and a half since petitioners launched the recall effort. Recent polling shows more than 60 percent of likely voters oppose the recall, compared to 39 percent in support. Joining me now for more is Kenny Choi. He's a reporter for our CBS San Francisco station, KPIX. Hi there, Kenny. Thanks very much for being with us. So it's not just the president campaigning for Governor Newsom tonight. He follows stops by several in his inner circle in recent weeks. Is there a clear impact from all the attention paid by the White House? You know, so the Newsom campaign certainly uh, enjoys this moment uh, with President Biden joining Newsom later tonight in Long Beach. You know, for the Newsom campaign, they're not taking any chances. They want all the heavy hitters on the Democratic side from the state level all the way to the national level. You saw Vice President Kamala Harris coming in to San Leandro, into the Bay Area last week to support Newsom. Uh, to make sure that people go out and vote and vote no. That's the message from the Democratic side, and they're certainly hoping that uh, President Biden's visit boosts that message to those voters out there tonight to get out the vote. Newsom campaign was talking early on in the campaign in this election cycle about how they were trying to address voter apathy. That doesn't seem to be an issue right now, because when you look at the early returns, uh, those returns are showing that the rate of return uh, for registered Democrats and registered Republicans is very similar, about one in three, more than one in three uh, are returning those ballots. So Newsom's campaign has a lot to be encouraged by uh, with one day to go before the election. So, Kenny, how are the top Republican challengers, particularly frontrunner Larry Elder, spending these final hours ahead of the election? Yeah, this has been a blitz for the Elder campaign as well. They're down in Southern California today. And over the last several weeks, they are hitting as many stops as they can, trying to energize their base as well. Uh, you also have candidates like John Cox, who, who may not be at the top, but they are certainly trying to take advantage of this moment in the final hours before, the, before Election Day. Uh, Cox is up in Napa Valley, or actually rather Napa, at the French Laundry. That was the infamous scene where uh, Governor Newsom last November attended a dinner with a large gathering when those mandates were in place, when those mask mandates were in place. And uh, you certainly saw that uh, these candidates on the Republican side are trying to take advantage of those moments, trying to highlight some of the mistakes that Newsom has made during this campaign cycle. So it's interesting because all registered California voters were mailed a ballot. So how much does in-person voting on Election Day matter, especially when it comes to Republican turnout, which is usually higher day of? That's right, Elaine. So when you look at the early returns, a significant portion of this state, of those 22 million ballots that you just mentioned, have already been returned. Close to 8 million have already been returned. So uh, there is turnout. There's, the, there's a good indication of early turnout in terms of those mail-in balloting. So in-person voting, uh, of course it matters. Um, those who are the proponents for this recall petition, they are certainly hoping that there's a large turnout on Election Day. But from when you look at the data, uh, Political Data Inc., the company that analyzes some of these early returns, they are predicting that you might see somewhere between 15 to 20 percent of the entire vote uh, come in on Election Day, those in-person uh, voting at those polls. But the majority uh, of this vote will come through mail-in balloting as well as people dropping off. And it certainly has changed the way we see elections. Governor Newsom has been calling this an all-mail-in ballot vote. And so we'll see uh, whether that in-person turnout is enough for those proponents on the Republican, Republican voters and those leaning right and those supporters of the recall saying yes. We'll see if that, uh, it's a significant turnout tomorrow. Something we've seen pick up over the last few days, Larry Elder and some other Republicans are echoing themes that we heard from former President Trump in 2020, specifically the unfounded claims of the election being fraudulent. So what has the Democratic response been to Larry Elder on that specific point? I think the Democratic response has been this. You know, we're, we're hearing of uh, voter fraud and allegations of that, but Democrats will say, where is the proof? 
when I talk to voters throughout this uh, election campaign cycle, I haven't really heard that from, from many people. That's not their main concern. They have concerns about what's happening in California, the wildfires, the drought, pandemic-related restrictions, and the way that the governor has managed this state with shutdowns. Those are the issues that voters care about. And so allegations of voter fraud and this election cycle, not hearing that as much. All right, Kenny Choi with KPIX. Thank you so much, Kenny.